guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to make a github home page clone using next.js kelvin css and many other libraries so here let me give a preview of this website and after that we can start building our project so first this is our nav bar and this is search bar if i inspect and shrink it you can see its responsiveness and this comes with this animation After that, we have our hero section, and then we have our productivity section. If I scroll down, then we get this sticky nav bar. And if I scroll above this productivity section, the sticky nav bar disappears. So now let's scroll down, and this is our code editor. This is our increase page. Then this is our hover card with code animations we can also replay it and this is our second card with code animations this is our collaboration section and this is our card if i refresh it you can see that animation then this then this is our security section let me refresh it again so you can see the animation and, and lastly we have our globe mona image and then we have our footer section so we are going to make all these things in this video and also one more thing if i click on this productivity it gets directed to that section collaboration security and these are the buttons so yeah this is the website that we are going to make in this video so let's get started and start building our app and now let's create our next step by writing following command in our terminal so write npx create next step latest press enter and then give your project a name so this will be a github clone and then i'm going to use typescript yes yes no yes no and now this will install all the necessary packages for our project now after installation go to the project directory and then write npm run here to start our server And as you can see in our next step there is no problem so go back to your project directory and then let me stop the server and we are going to install some packages for our project so that npm i react spring frame motion kobe so these three packages we are required to make our github clone so let's wait for the installation and then go to your packet projection and here you can see that all the packages are listed here and uh, this is all we need for our project now after, after this after this go to your app directory and then pages and then remove all these things and write simple div here and save it and let's run our server again so that can pm run div and refresh it and one more thing that in the global.css Go to my GitHub repository and copy all the CSS from my GitHub and paste it here. So for that, I'm going to my GitHub and here you can see in the app directory there's global.css and we need to copy all this. So copy from here 
and then paste here. So this is all the extra CSS that we are required. Other than that, we are going to use the tailwind CSS for our styling. Now save it and let's go back to our browser. And as you can see that our background has changed. And with that, our project setup is complete. Now in the GitHub website, you can see that there is a background image. And if we inspect it and start resizing, you can see that it's resized in a certain way. So we are going to copy this exact format in our project. And for that, go to your page.ksx and inside this div, write some more divs with a class name of relative and z will be 50. And inside this, we are going to have one more div with a class name of absolute. Now, outside this div, now outside this div we are going to have one more div and inside that we are going to have one more div with a class name of overflow hidden and then inside that we will write a div and we will give a class name of relative and then inside that we are going to have our image inside the source you can go to my data and copy this link from there so copy this brother and paste here and now give the width of 4377 to this image and if i save it and go here and refresh it you can see our image but for the desired output we are going to add some css here so add a class name here and give a class of absolute top zero transition is in and then duration will be 200 milliseconds now if the window size is below excel then we are going to shift the image to right uh, with minus 1050 pixels and if it is above excel then we are going to shift the image to right with a nine with minus nine seventy pixel and after that we are going to and after that we are going to add a uh, image class here and if you go in the global.css you can see that our image class here here we have calculated the max width for our image so that we can have the same effect as in the github so let's save the page and go here and if I refresh it and as you can see that we are not seeing anything here and the reason is that we did not give any height here so just to show you I'm going to give a height of edge screen and if I save it you can see that our image is visible now and if I inspect and start resizing it you can see it's resized in the same way So with that we have added our background image for our website and now let's make our neighbor but before that we have to make one more component here so inside the app directory make one more file name container .tsx right tsrafc now remove this as well and write interface container props And inside that, we are going to have children, which will be a type of React dot React node. And then we are going to pass our interface here. So, right, React dot FC container props. And then inside this, pass our children and then here as well as children and inside the div we are going to have a class name which will have a max width of 1440 pixels 
and then if the window size is above XL, we are going to have a horizontal padding of 20. If it's above MD, then we are going to have horizontal padding of 8. If it's above SM, then it will be 7. And lastly, we are going to have a margin in horizontal direction auto. And now close this one, this one, and in the app directory, make a folder named components. And inside that, we are going to have a folder named navbar. And inside that, we are going to have our navbar file, which is navbar.ts. And then write ts rafc and give a class name of text right and now go to the page.tsx and import the nearby component and let's save it and go back to the browser and as you can see that our neighbor is visible and the neighbor we are going to remove this one and we are going to import our container And we are going to write our JSX inside this container. Now inside the container, if I write something, let's give a class of text white. Save it. You can see that our container is working now that we have our padding in horizontal direction. And now inside this container, we are going to write our JSX. So first we are going to have a div. With the class name of text white, everything inside our container will be white and PG will be transparent. And then we are going to give a vertical padding of 5, which is 20 pixels. And inside this tip, we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex item centers. If the window size is below LG then we are going to justify the content justify between then if it's below LG then we are going to reverse the flex direction so right flex go reverse and now inside this div we are going to have a model with a class name of flex Justify between item centers max LG W full. Then inside that, we are going to have one more div in the class uh, with the class name of LG hidden. So, about LG window size, this component will not be visible. And inside that we are going to have our anchor tag with a class name of px2 py 6 pixels border of 1 pixel and then rounded md which is the border radius over text neutral 400 so and then we are going to write sign up now let's save and let me for a second remove this css and save it and go here you can see our component here but this will be visible only the small devices so we are going to add this css again and now below this div, we are going to have one more anchor tag and it will point to the main GitHub website so that HTTPS and then we are going to have a SVG here. You can copy this SVG from my GitHub and inside this SVG, make sure that you have this property which is fill current color and then we are going to give this a class name of text white. And now if I save it and go here, you can see our GitHub icon here. And if I click on it, we get directed to the main GitHub page. Now, and now after adding our icon, let's add our button. 
this will be a type of button and inside this we are going to have three divs it's some same class name so i'm going to use a multi cursor and add a class name and they will have a width of 23 height will be pixel transition will be is in duration of 150 milliseconds and bg will be white we also have to give some margin here so that mb1 and here is mb1 and now save it and go there you can see that our hamburger menu is visible right now but to animate this hamburger we have to use some states here so go above and and import use state hook and inside the function we are going to define our use state which is show name set show name use state and it will be a type of boolean so i'm going to be initial value of false and we also have to make this a uh, client component now inside the button we are going to define on click function and inside that we are going to just flip the value of show new and then we are going to let's make this like this so inside the first div we are going to have our term ternary operator if show name is true then we are going to rotate our div with 45 degree angles and margin bottom will be zero and then we are going to translate in the y direction by one pixel and then if it's false then we are going to rotate it back to the zero angle and also giving it a margin bottom one so remove this from here similarly in the next field if show name is true then we are going to hide this div with margin bottom of zero otherwise we are going to give a margin bottom of one and remove this from here as well and in the last div if show name is true then we are going to rotate it in the negative 45 degree direction with margin bottom of zero otherwise margin otherwise rotate it to the zero degree angle let's save it and go back here now if i click on it you can see the animation and you may already know that this will work only the small devices so we are going to give a class name of lg hidden and cursor pointer and now let's work on this navbar for that we have to go below this div and write div inside that we are going to give a class name of flex and make it this way first flex width will be full max lg will be absolute transition will be easy and duration will be of 200 milliseconds then we are going to give a top value of 20 and z index of 40 and after that we are going to use the same uh, state here which is show name if show name is true then i am going to translate our neighbor in x direction to zero 
if it's below lg so that so that max lg translate x0 again if it's below lg then i'm going to scale it to 100 and otherwise max lg max h0 max lg scale y50 and max lg translate y 1 by 4 so this CSS only works when the window size is below lg so after that we are going to write one more div and we will give a class name of inside that we will have our CSS which is flex max lg flex call lg item center max sm w will be 10 by 12 max sm mx auto and then sm ml auto max lg it will give a width of 320 pixels and then lg it will have a width of full after that we are going to have max lg of max h of 500 pixels and overflow y auto and then we are going to write lg and the zero max lg dg white and max lg rounded lg rounded lg so let me explain all these cases again so i can explain all these cases from here so first uh, we are giving the flex property then if it's below lg it will be in this case so if it's below lg then we are going to give a flex call so all these menu bars which is right now horizontal they all be aligned in a vertical direction if it's below lg if i click on the hamburger menu you can see all the menus are in the vertical direction so this is what this property do and same if it's above lg which is this then we are going to give a class name of item center if it's below sm which is which will be this which will be this we are going to give a width of 10 by 12 and then uh, we are going to give a mx auto below sm and all other properties like if it's below lg then we are going to give a width of 320 pixels which is this and if i go below sm then the width become 10 by 12 of the window size so this is how it's working and if it's uh, about lg then we are going the full width which is this and then after that if it's below lg which will be this we are giving a maximum height of 500 pixels and we are also giving a overflow y auto margin bottom zero and then pg of white so so if it's below lg we are giving a background of white but if it's above lg then we are going a pg transparent and after that we are just giving our border radius and now let's go in the next line and here we are going to have a name tag and inside that we are going to have class names so first it will have a margin top of zero 
horizontal padding of 3. If it's above LG, then we are going to have padding of 6. And then text of 15.5 pixels. And then we are going to have margin bottom of 0. Max LG. PY 10. And then max LG. PX5. And after that, inside this, if we are going to have another list, and it will have a class name. Inside that, we'll have a flex class name. If it's above LG, then we are going to have an item center. If it's above LG, then we are going to have a space in X direction 2v2. If it's below LG, then we are going to have a flex call property and then if it's below LG then we are going to have a text neutral 700 max LG text Excel and max LG font medium and then max LG Space in the y direction will be 6, and then we are going to have max LG H will be auto, and then overflow by auto. So, this these are the property for uh, these menus. So, we have a flex property if it's above LG, then we are going to. Uh, then we are giving item center and space in the x direction to be 2, which is this. And if it's below, then we are going to give them a flex call property, which will align them in the vertical direction, which is this. And then we are giving them a color, text color, which is the 700. Uh, then we are giving them a font medium, which is a font weight which is 500 and then we are also giving them a text excel which is 20 pixel and their height is auto and overflow y is auto and now inside that we are going to give some allies although we are going to change it later but just to show you i'm going to write ally product and if i save it and go here you can see all the menu here. Let me inspect it. So there was a, some error, which is this that I did not add the W screen to my container. So after uh, adding this, if I save this again and go here, inspect it. Now if I am below LG, then uh, this shows up. And if I click on this, you can see that our navbar shows up like this, and this is what these CSS are for. And now we have to change this navbar also because we want something like this. That and when we hover over the menus, we can get something like this. So for that, I'm going to remove all this, and here inside the navbar, I'm going to make one more folder. Which is nav utils. Inside that, we are going to have two components, which which is nav list dot tsx and write tsrfc. And another component will be nav list two dot tsx. And again, write tsrfc. So these two components are being used here. In the left part, this is nav list one and this is nav list two. Similarly, here as well we have used the nav list. First, let's make them a client component because we are going to use some hooks here, and then import use state. Now we are going to define some props here. First will be main, which will be 
which is the main line which will be a type of string then we are going to write some name which will be a type of string as well then we are going to write path this will take the path of SPGs so this will be a string as well and lastly we will also have path 2 because in some cases we have two paths in our SVG that's why we are defining two paths here and now let's pass these props here now use curly braces and inside there write main sub main path and path 2 and they all came from props and then inside our function we are going to we are going to write a state here which will be focus then set focus it will be a type of boolean so that use state boolean and it will take a default value of false now inside our return we are going to remove this and we will write a anchor tag and inside the anchor tag we are going to have on mouse center we are going to make the state value to true and on mouse leave we are going to make the state value false and then we are going to add some CSS here write class name adding in whatever direction is 3 flex item centers space in next direction is 3 and cursor pointer now inside the anchor tag we are going to have our SVG so for that go to my github and copy and paste this here so first line is just the properties here I have given the class name here which will be margin by 3 transition of 100 transition of is in duration 100 and on focus we are going to change the color and then we are giving two path for our SVGs below this SVG we are going to add a view of class name if focused is true then we are going to change the color to text blue 500 otherwise it will be a text color of neutral 600 so 500 and it will have a transition of is in duration will be of 100 milliseconds and then text size will be of 20 14 pixels and then inside this div we are going to give we are going to have one more div which will have a class name of font semi bold Then transition. Let me copy this from here. And if focused, then we are going to change the color. Focus text blue. Let me this copy from here as well. Just change this to 800. And after that, change the font size to text base, and then we are going to give a line height of gradient five. And inside this div, we are going to pass our main. And then outside this, we are going to have our sub main. So with this our name list one is study. Similarly, we can work on our name list two for that. We are going to make this our client 
on end as well and then we are going to import our state and then we are going to define some props here it will take main value which will be a type of string then it will take only one path type string after that pass them here from right main path and props and inside the function i'm going to have our state here so copy this from here and paste here and as for the JSX, you can copy that from my GitHub repo. So inside this, uh, in the anchor tag, I have taken flex item center, and if it's focused, then we are going to change the color to 600. Same way for the SVG, I have taken a margin left of two, and then transition, and then if it's focused, I'm going to translate it to the X of zero, and then I'm going to all, and I'm also going to give a opacity of 100. If it's focus so let's save it and with that our both components is ready now we are going to use both of them to make our menu bar so inside the new bar we are going to have a component which is product name.ksx and then let's import it here product name now inside the product name first let's make this a uh, client component then we are going to import some states which is use state and after that we are going to import for the utils which is name list and name list two and then we are going to define a state here which is const show set show this will be a type of boolean and by default its value will be false Now the second function will be const handle mouse enter and write this function if the window size is above 1024 pixel that means if it's above LG then it's going to set the value of show to true and similarly for mouse leave it's going to make the value to false and now let's write our jsx here so we are going to write li i'm going to write on mouse enter we are going to call our handle mouse enter and on mouse leave we are going to call our handle mouse leave and then inside this li we are going to have a button this will and inside the button we are going to have our own click which will set the value of show to which will just reverse the value of show now after that we are going to define its type which is a button type and then we are going to have some class names here so write flex item center t of 1 max lg uh, font semi bold and then transition is in 
position will be of 150 milliseconds max lg justified between and max lg w full now if the value of show is true then i'm going to make lg text neutral 300 and otherwise it will take the default values now inside the button i'm going to write product and then svg and now let's save it and code this so when i hover over it you can see the animation and now below this button we are going to have a div of class name relative lg absolute lg flex ml1 5 bg white rounded empty lg py4 py2 transition will be is in and duration will be One fifty milliseconds. If show is true, then we are going to give our opacity of hundred. Otherwise, it will have an opacity of zero, and it will have a property of invisible max LG hidden. Now inside this div, we have we are having one more div with the class name of LG PX4 LG border in the right direction of one pixel, and then I'm going to give a and then we are and then margin bottom of four. LG margin bottom of zero and LG PR and then inside this div we are going to have an order list and it will have a class name of max LG PL6 inside UL we are going to have our list here so let's have our nav list inside this nav list we are going to pass some properties here so first will be main it will take only strings so main inside main it will be action then sub main it will be Automate any workflow and then path two will be empty and then I'm going to give a path. You can copy this from my GitHub and now if I save it and go here, let me hover over it and and you can see our first manifest appeared. Similarly, we can add all other menus. So I'm just going to copy that from my GitHub and paste it here. Let me verify it and let's save it and go back here again. And if I hover over it, you can see that all our menus here. Now, with that done, we are going to work on this second part. And for that, outside this div, make one more div with the class name of LG PX 
8 LG PR20 and PY of 2 Max LG PL6 and then inside this we are going to have a span which will have a class name of MY of 1 text neutral of 800 then font semi bold and inside this span we are going to write explode now below span we are going to have one more another list with a class name of text sm and now inside this we are going to have our list and inside this list we are going to have a class name text neutral 500 over text blue 500 and py of 2 we are going to have our anchor tag inside that we are going to write all features now below this ally we are going to have some more ally with a class name of py2 and now we are going to use our name list to here and this will take two values which is main and path and in the main we are going to write documentations and in the path you can copy that from my github and then save it and let's go back here and check if it's working or not and you can see that our documentation here let me give some more space here py3 similarly you can do the same for others and let's save it go back here and if i hover you can see that our menu is here now let's check if it's working on this small device as well so for that resize it and if i click on the product you can see that it opens our hidden menu so with that our product new is ready and now we have to work on solution open source and pricing so go here and make one more component which is solution name dot tsx tsrafc uh i think my spelling is wrong so solution and one more thing that actually we don't need this function uh because the work for this function is doing this on the function so actually we don't need the handle click function so and after that we actually need this for this as well and this as well and then I'm going to copy this inside the ally. We are going to have this and change the product name to solution. And let's save it. And one more thing that here as well, I have to change the spelling. now let's import it to the new bar so that solution name and save it and here you can refresh it the name from product to solution and with that our horizontal menu is ready we have to work on the vertical menu so for that outside this button we are going to have a div and inside that we are going to have a class name of relative then lg absolute minus ml5 
bg white rounded md lg py4 py6 p6 w300 pixels and transition is in of of duration of 300 milliseconds and if the value of show is true then i'm going to then we are going to write lg text neutral 300 otherwise it will take the default value and now inside this div we're going to have one more div with the class name of lg order bottom one pixel and mb4 and then pb4 pt4 w4 and inside this div we are going to have a span inside that we'll write for and with the class name of text neutral 800 and fonts in world and text font size will be text base now below span we are going to have another list and it will have a class name of text sm text neutral of 500 empty one and width will be full inside this we are going to have our list so and and then an anchor tag with a class name of block py2 over text below 500 600 and then write enter size Similarly, you can write for teams and startups. And below this startup, we are going to have one more ally with a class name of py2. And inside this ally tag, we are going to have our nav list 2. Main will be education. And path, you can copy this from github and then let's save it after that we are going to have one more div outside this div with a class name of lg border p of one pixel then mb of four pb of four pt of four w will be full inside that we are going to have a span so copy this from here and paste here and change this to by solution and then in the next line we are going to have a, another list the class name of you can copy this from here and after that inside ul we are going to have ally inside that uh, anchor tag with the class name of block py2 over 
text blue 600 and then inside this we are going to write ci cd and automation now below this li we are going to have a name list to main and path you also have to add a class name of py2 and then save it and after this we are going to have one more div after give and inside that we are going to have a class name which is md4 tb0 pt2 and w full and now inside this we are going to have our span so copy this from here and paste it and change this in that case it is and after this in next in next line we are going to have another list with a class name you can copy this from here as well paste here and inside this we are going to have two allies now if we save it and go here for some reason it's already appeared let me check so actually this should not be here instead we are going to write if show is true then we are going to have opacity of 100 otherwise we are going to have opacity of 0 hidden and now let's save it and go here and if I hover over it, you can see our menu. Now with that, our solution menu is also ready. And now we have to work on the open source menu. So for that, make one more file here. Open source mail .tss. And write tsrafce and then import here and save it. And you can see that our third menu is here. Now, here as well, we are going to import some things from product new. So, copy and paste here and then this as well and this as well and change the name from product to open source now below this button we are going to have a div and this div will have a class name we copy this from here and copy this whole section and paste here and after that we are going to add one more div inside this div with the class name of lg border b one pixel and iron bottom of four pb6 and pt4 and w hole and inside that we are going to have a span and you can just go here and copy this and paste here now here we have to add one more thing that if forward then we are going to change the text color from neutral to blue 500 And also change this text here. Get hub sponsors. Now duplicate this part. 
one more time and change this the and now below this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of mb4 tb0 pt2 w full and inside this div we are going to have our span here so copy this span and paste here and remove this hover part and change the text we are going to have our unordered list with a class name of text sm text neutral 500 then empty one w full and inside this we are going to have our li in which we are going to have our anchor tag with a class name of block py2 over text blue 600 actually this should be repository similarly we are going to duplicate it two more times and change the text here to endings and then collections now save it and let's go back to our browser and if i hover over it you can see that it's visible i think we did not add the sub menu here so for that go back here and after sponsor add a p tag inside that we are going to write and it will have a class name of text sm font normal font normal and then we are going to have a text neutral 500 let's copy this and paste here and inside this we are going to change it to now let's save it and go here and if i hover and see that our menu and one more thing that is left to do is is at the last menu and inside li we are going to have our anchor tag with these properties now let's save it and go back here and you can see our third menu so with that our menu part is ready let me inspect it and resize it. If I click on this, you can see our menu. You can open any of the menu here. And this works just fine. And you can see that it does not go beyond this because we have set the max height of 500 pixels. So with that, our menu part and hamburger menu is ready. Now we have to work on the right section. In which we are going to make our search bar and some buttons for that after the name we will have a div with the class name of lg flex item center max lg flex call and lg px0 px3 mb3 lg mb0 text left and lg space x4 and inside this div we'll have one more div with the class name of lg flex mb2 lg mb0 then relative and max lg mr4 inside the day we are going to have a input which will be a type of text now we'll have a placeholder writing search github 
and then we are going to have some classes here this is going to be a long class so first we'll have a class which i have already defined in the global .css. then we are going to have max lg bg neutral 50 and then max lg w full then w two four key pixels and then lg px2 after that we are going to have edge of 38 pixels and then p of 3.5 pixels and then we are going to have a white space no wrap and a placeholder text of 14 pixels next lg placeholder text 16 pixels after that we are going to have font medium placeholder pl2 focus z will be 10 and then text will be text will be 14 pixels then on focus i'm going to make outline none and then on focus make bg white on focus make text black and on and border will be one pixel above lg we're going to have a border neutral 500 and then we are going to have max lg border neutral 300 we're going to have a border radius of rounded md and that's it and on side and now below input we are going to have and now below input we are going to have our svg now outside this div we are going to have one more div and in this div we will have a class name of max lg flex justify center max lg border of one pixel max lg mr4 rounded md and max lg bg neutral 800 inside this tube we are going to have an anchor tag we are going to have a class name of over text neutral 400 max lg py2 max lg text 16 pixels x lg font semi bold and inside this we are going to write sign in now outside this tip we are going to have one more anchor tag with a class name of max lg hidden then px2 py 5 pixels then border of 1 pixel rounded empty over x neutral 400 and inside anchor tag we are going to write sign up now save it and let's go back to our browser and refresh it and i think there should be a style justify between so 
So after this, write LG justify and save it. And now it's looking good. So with that, our nearby is ready. Let me resize it. And if I click on the hamburger menu, you can see our nearby. It's working good. So with that our neighbor is ready. And now we will work on our home section, which is this part. So now we have to work on the hero section. So that go to the component and make new folder called hero section. And inside that we are going to make a file called hero.ksx and now let's go to the page so txx and here below this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of hero section and then a horizontal padding of three and inside this we are going to import our hero And go back to the hero.ksx and here let's make it a client section for that right use client and then import use state hook. After that inside the function we are going to write some states here. So first forward then set forward is equals to your state it would be a type of boolean. And initial value will be false now duplicate it and change this to 1 and 1 and now let's start writing our JSX so remove this and write div with a class name of relative max width will be of 1 to 8 0 pixels LGPT32 MDPX10 PT16 and inside this we are going to have image and in the image we are going to have some classes it will have a absolute position hero drone Plus and top 28 W1 by 4 H auto right 0 Excel right 0 and width will be 500 height will be 326 and inside the SSC you can copy the URL from my github and with that we have our and with that we have our drone here but you cannot see right now because we haven't added anything in the Hero section. So for that, let's add some more things here. So I div with the class name of flex, and below this we are going to have one more div with the class name of relative, and inside that we are going to have one more image. It will have a width of 437, height of height of 637 now let's save it and go here you can see those two here the reason these two are here because we have to remove this part and now if I save and go here you can see that they are at the right position 
now let's go back to the hero section again and then and then below image we are going to have one motive with a class name of mx auto my3 inside this we will have a span with a class name of reactive and z index of 11 and inside this span we are going to have a svg so copy paste here now below this svg we are going to have one more span with a class name of absolute left 0 top 0 w6 h full and with this class along with that we are going to have some styles and filter blur and now let's save and go here and check you can see that now this svg has some a glowing effect here now outside this div we are going to have one more div and it will have a style property inside that first it will have a background and the background will be a linear gradient so in the background we have a linear gradient with these colors and after that and after that we are going to have margin left of 11 pixels then outside this style tag we are going to have our class name max md w 2 pixel w 3 pixel edge of 450 and max md edge 650 pixels then max sm edge will be max sm 750 pixels then max ssm edge will be 900 pixels and then max sssm edge will be of 1150 pixels and then line and rounded MD. As you know that these two media queries are not by default in the Telegram CSS config, so we have to make them by ourselves. So go here and after this background image, you can add these two here and save it. And if we go here. And if you go here, you can see that our line is visible now. And as I start stringing it, you can see that the line length increases as well. Clearly, here should be w instead of 2. Now, after this, below this div, we are going to make one more div with a class name of absolute. And padding top is 32 margin top is 28 max md padding in horizontal direction will be 4 ml4 and md ml12 then inside the div we are going to make one more div with the class name of relative md top 20 and MB 24 pixels and then inside that we are going to have an anchor tag and it will have a on mouse enter property that will set the set over state to true and on mouse leave it will set its value to false after that we are going to have our class names inside that we are giving a border of 1 pixels border neutral of 600 then copilot rounded full 
inline block and then inside this anchor tag we are going to have a div with a class name of flex item center p3 and px5 then we are going to have an image with the class name of width auto flex grow 0 flex shrink 0 mr6 max md mr3 scale 110 and then outside that we are going to have width of 44 and height of 44 and in the src you can copy that from my github after that below image we are going to have one more div with a class name mdpr5 pr3 md mr2 md pl2 inside that we are going to have two divs with a class name of font medium text white text of 16 pixels max md text 14 pixels and leading of 5 which is line height inside that we are going to write text introducing github copilot x and below this we are going to have one more div with the class name of text neutral 500 max md text 14 pixels then text 16 pixels and then we are going to write after that outside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of ml auto and inside that will give us svg finally outside this div we will have a h1 tag with the class name of md mt24 lg mt28 sm mt10 relative max md mb5 text 48 pixels md text 72 pixels max sm leading 60 pixels max md leading 80 pixels lg text 80 pixel and then font semi bold then text white and inside h1 tag we are going to write this below h1 we are going to have a p tag with a class name relative z1 text 24 pixels md text 28 pixel then lg text 32 pixel and we are going to have a line height of leading 30 pixel then md leading of 36 pixel 
an LG leading of 44 pixels MB5 MD MB12 MD W10 by 12 LG W9 by 12 text 7D 8590 and then inside p tag we are going to write and then below this p tag we are going to have a div with a class name of flex lg w11 by 12 md space x5 and max md flex call now inside that we are going to have a form in which we are going to have a div with a class name grid max md grid row 2 md grid call 2 inside div we are going to have dl then dd and input inside input we are going to give a class name here which will be h12 focus outline none max md rounded md md rounded s md write 0 w full placeholder text 16 pixels pl3 and inside the placeholder we are going to write email address and we are going to have auto complete off now outside dl we will have a button with the type of button and then we will have a class name mb10 md mb0 py3 text 16 pixels max md rounded he md text white font semi bold and then inside button write sign up for github now let's save and check if it's working refresh and we can see that our text is here uh, one more css that we have to include here which is home campaign now let's go and check now we got our color here and after that and this should be above md and if it's below md which is max md then we are going to have rounded md and save it again and check yeah now it's looking good after that below the form we are going to have a spam with a class name of border top of 1 pixels md border left of 1 pixel border neutral 700 then max then md mx10 mb3 md mb0 now outside this span we are going to have our anchor tag with the same functions from above so copy this one and paste here 
and change this to set hovered one. After that, we will give a class name here in which we are going to give a flex item center w full md w auto justify center text 16 pixels py3 px5 max md mt4 rounded md border f9 then border of 1.5 pixels text white and then inside anchor tag we are going to write start and then we are going to have our svg here and now outside div we are going to have one more div with the class name md and y32 then my24 and inside this we are going to have a p tag with the class name text 16 pixels leading 24 pixels text 90 and inside that we are going to write this and below p tag we will have a div with the class name flex flex wrap justify center justify between item centers inside that we are going to have many images so you can copy that from my github and paste here and now save it and let's go and check if it's working or not you can see that our logo here our animation and here one more class we have to add which is mx auto and now let's save and go here and as you can see that our hero section is ready now let's check if it's responsive or not so if i start shrinking you can see that it's responsive as well So now our header section is ready and now we have to work on productivity section which is this here we are going to make our text editor some sections and also a cart section so let's go back to our editor and make a component here but before that please add a px3 in your container now inside the component we are going to make one more folder named productivity and inside that make a file productivity dot tsx and tsrfc now this component will be a client component so that use client and we are also going to import our use state and from the hero.tsx we are going to copy this and paste here and we are going to import frame of motion so like motion from frame of motion for our animations so inside this we are going to have our first div with the class name of max width of 1 to 8 0 pixels mx auto 
and inside this we are going to have div with the class name of flex mdpl10 space x3 md space x10 so inside this we will have one more div with the class name flex flex call item centers and inside this we will have div but we are going to change it to motion for div and as we know that sigma motion takes some values like initial so initial value will be opacity 0 and while in view we are going to make its opacity to 1 now for the transition we are going to give a duration of 0 0.3 seconds and then viewport once will be false and then we are going to give a class name inside that we are going to give relative and now inside Div, we will have our SVG, and below this, we will have a span with the class name absolute left zero, top zero, edge full, W full, and let's go to the global.css and copy this one and then come here and paste and then we will have a z index of 3 now outside this div we are going to have one more motion dot div and it will have initial value of height 0 then while in view it will have a height of 100% and then transition will be of zero point four seconds and delay will be 0 0.3 seconds and outside this we are going to give class name h full w three pixels max md w two pixel then mt seven rounded md bg gradient to bottom from now let's save and go and check here let me refresh it and right now you cannot see anything because we did not add to our page so here so here below div make one more div with the class name px4 pt8 overflow hidden and id will be product t vt and inside that we are going to import our component product t now save it and go here and check let me give a margin bottom of 32 so now you can see that we have our SVG and our growing effect. If I refresh it, you can see the animation. But you cannot see our line which is this because right now H full is zero. So when we add these two text, then it is going to show. So for that, below this div, we can have one more div with the class name of MD 
W10 by 12 MB 24 inside that write motion dot div initial value will be opacity of 0 and while in view it will have opacity of 1 And copy this paste clear and make this to 6 and this should be the same and after that write viewport once false then we are going to give class name inside that Write text connected pixels md text to excel md7 font medium text white and then inside this we are going to have our productivity Similarly, below this tip, we are going to have one more motion dot div motion dot div copy this from our and paste here and change the delay to 0.5 and here delay to 0 0.4 and duration of 0 0.3 0 0.3 now here write the class names text 28 pixel md text 40 pixel max md leading 8 max lg leading 10 lg text 5 axel mb7 font medium then inside this div we are going to have a span with a class name inside this and below this and below this write these tags let's save and go and check here we have to give a text white color here text white save and if I refresh it you can see the animation I think we have given the wrong color so it should be EE -E. and now let's work on this code editor part we are going to make this from scratch so for that let's make a component here code editor dot tsx T S R A S E. Now uh, here import motion from demo motion. Now inside function we are going to define some variants. So write const container. First hidden will be opacity zero. Then show opacity 1 transition of opac of a stagger children 0 0.1 and delay children this should be capital letter and this should be as 
of 0 0.1 seconds now after that outside this container we are going to make one more variant which is item and here hidden will be of opacity 0 and y will be 3 and show will be opacity 1 y 0 and transition type will be keyframe now first thing we are going to make here is this part inside inside the term remove this and write div with the class name then rounded excel border of 0 0.5 pixels and then we are going to give border color which will be then overflow hidden relative shadow to excel and then we are going to give a background color now inside div we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex item center justify between then we are going to have border and its color so copy this from here and paste and then we are going to give a padding of 4 then inside div we are going to have one more div with class name p next this is just for identity then max and max md hidden and flex text color will be text 7 t 8 5 9 0 and then font medium inside this tube we are going to have two svgs which you can copy from my github and then outside this tube we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex item center justify between px2 py1 rounded md bg then we are going to have a border so copy this from here paste here and then width will be full and md w will be auto and inside this div we are going to have svg and then we are going to have a div with the class name of md px8 px2 text white white space no wrap overflow hidden text 14 pixels then text ellipse and inside this we are going to write this text now below this we are going to have one more svg and now save it and after that below this div make one more div with same classes as we have above so copy this and paste here and inside this div we are going to have our svg so copy and paste here now if i save and go here refresh it and i also have to so we also have to include it here so write code editor and then save it and let's go and check and as you can see that now we have our upper menu for our code editor similarly we can make the others so for that outside this div we are going to have 
one more day for the class name of flex and item stretch and inside that write div with the class name of hidden md block p6 order r with 0 0.5 pixel width then order color which we can copy from here paste here and inside that we are going to have our svg so paste here and then after this div make one more div with the class name min w is 0 and w is full now inside that we are going to have one more div with the class name of order bottom of 0 0.5 pixels and then we are going to have its color so copy that from here and paste here and then text text color you can copy from here And inside that we are going to have an unordered list with the class name of flex px3 and pt4 and inside this write li class name px3 py2 rounded t md and bg color will be then we are going to give text color of gray 300 and inside that we are going to write index.spml now below that make one more ally with class name px3 py2 and write script.js and below that write li class name px3 py2 and then write package dot json and now below ul make a div with a class name bg and copy the color from here and then p4 and inside this we are going to have a div with a class name flex and we are going to and then one more div inside that we are going to have a array which will print number 1 to 12 so write array dot from length 12 then bracket underscore index then arrow function inside that we are going to have a div the class name of pr2 and we will give a key which will be index plus one and then inside the div we are going to write index plus one so now if i save and go here you can see that our index script or json and we have our number here so now after that we are going to write this code for so that i'm going to make another file here and so write code log and i'm going to make this component here code code block dot tsx tsrafce and import that here
now save it and here I suggest you to copy this from my github because there is nothing to explain it is just we have used pre and span and given some spaces so that we can have this kind of look which we have already here and it is also a now after that we are going to make this component here which will be a terminal and it will also have an animation so for that go to your code editor and after this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of p4 text and you can copy this color from here Now inside this we are going to first make this menu so that you will and we will have a class name here flex md3 now inside the ul you will have ally with the class name of pr3 text gray 200 and here then write terminal similarly one more ally with class name of pr3 and write output duplicate it two more times and replace this text problems and then debug console now save it and let's go and check you can see our menu here now below you will we are going to have one more div and it will be motion dot div and inside this we are going to define our variant so variant will be container and initial value will be hidden of the container and then while in view and in view we are going to make its value to show then we are going to write viewport once is false and amount will be 0 0.5 and then we are going to have a class name class name overflow hidden white space no wrap font mono text 14 pixels text color you can copy that from here and paste here and then come to the next line write one more motion dot div and write variant is equals to item and then inside this div we are going to have our code so first we will have a square bracket then a span inside that we are going to write 0 9 3 6 and we will give a class name of color fg after that we will have a span inside that write a starting space then then this unicode which is inverted comma and write span inside that we will give a class name of color and then and then we will write watch extension vs code api and after span we will use the same unicode and in the next line we will write after and then next line span give a class name of color fg done and then write 248 milliseconds now if i save and go here you can see that our code is visible here 
so similarly we have to write for others as well so i'm not going to write all of them you can just go and copy from my github and if i save and go here and you can see that all our lines here which is coming as an animation so with that our first column is ready now we have to add an image over here like this so for that let's go below this and after this div we are going to give a div with a class name of md block hidden border left side with a 0.5 pixel width and then color you can copy from above so this is the border color paste here and w will be full now inside this we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex item center justify between px 16 pixels pt 22 pixel then pb2 and text gray 100 inside this div i want to have one more div then an svg so we can copy that from here now outside this div we are going to have one more div and an svg so i'm going to copy both of them here and paste here so with that our right side menu bar is ready now we have to add an image here for that we can write we can write after this div a div with a class name of px6 flex item center justify between height will be full and pg will be 040d11 hashtag now inside this div we are going to use our image so image give a class name of full width and h auto md block and the width will be one two three eight pixels and height will be one four zero four pixels and paste here now let's save and go here and you can see our image here but there is i think we did not give the correct background color and there should be two so now if i save and go here you can see that our code editor is ready let me refresh it one more time so if i scroll down from above we get an animation and here as well so with that our half of the productivity section is ready now we are going to work on this part for that make a new component here name code space tsx tsrafc and then import it here code space inside the code space import huge state and then also import motion from frame of motion now inside the function 
write the state forward set forward and this will be a type of boolean and its initial value will be false now we are going to define some variance here so write const line height Then inside that first hidden will have height of zero and show will have a height of hundred percent. Now inside the return remove this and write a div with a class name of flex relative and md pl ten. Now inside this, we are going to have an image with src this and class name absolute top zero right zero h auto and pointer event none. Now below image, we are going to have a div. With the class name of flex item center, then flex row and relative. Inside this div, we are going to have our motion dot div, and inside that, we are going to provide the variant is equals to line height. And initial will be hidden and while in view it will have show and then viewport will be once true once false and then transition will have a duration of 0 0.3 seconds now outside this we are going to have our class name which will have a width of 3 pixels max md width of 2 pixels then h full increase origin top in case I have already defined in the global.css and now below this but before here we have to provide width width will be 2712 and height will be below this motion.div we are going to have an image we can copy that from github so here we have calculated the position of the image if we start shrinking our window size and then we have provided our image source and then it will have a display none if the window size is below md and then we have given an absolute position bottom four and left six now after this tip we are going to have one more tip with a class name of lgpl 24 md pl16 pl6 and inside that we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex max md flex call reverse my8 item center lg Gap in the x direction will be 5 sm my 12 md my 16 pb6 md pb20 md flex flow and inside this div, we are going to have one more div 
and the class name look at that we are going to give a padding of 4 in vertical direction mb2 inside this we are going to have our motion dot div and this will take an initial value will be opacity 0 and it will be 30 in the x direction while in view we are going to make opacity to 1 and bring back to x is equal to 0 and then transition delay of 0 0.2 seconds and then transition type will be twin and then we will give a class name md pr6 Uh, inside this motion dot we will have a h2 tag with the class name of mb4 text to excel max lg text 20 pixel max md w10 by 12 LGW full text color and inside H2 we are going to have a span with the class name of P by 1 with the class name of font semi bold text white and then inside that we are going to write GitHub code space and then outside this span we are going to have one more span and then inside that we are going to write this and then outside H2 we are going to have a anchor tag and it will have our own mouse enter property which will make the set hover value to true and on mouse leave it will make its value to false then we will have a, then we will have our class name py1 inline block text excel text white font semi bold and inside anchor tag we are going to write check out github code space now below that we are going to have a svg then a div and give the class name then a ternary operator if over is true then we are going to make width 11 by 12 scale 100 otherwise it will have width 0 scale 0 and then origin left transition is in duration 300 milliseconds height will be 2.5 pixels bg white rounded full now let's save and go here and check if it's working or not below this tree i'm going to write one more read with the class name of py4 px6 w full and then inside that we are going to have one more div with a class name of relative then inside we are going to have one more div 
is a class name of flex flex row relative and then inside of that we are going to have our motion dot div and the initial value will be opacity zero and x will be minus 30 and while in view opacity will be zero and x will be zero and then we can copy other things from here paste here and then we are going to have our class name z will be one from top its value will be 200 pixels right 7 shadow to excel and one more thing that here and here above sm it will be absolute and inside this we are having two image here so here we have two images first is pick or png i have given a class name of width 300 pixel edge auto and rounded md similarly for the second image source is given and then and there's one more error that this should be minus fresh it and after that we are going to have one more motion dot div and in this we can copy this from here Paste here and then x value will be x value will be 30 and everything will be same and then we will have a class name here class name overflow hidden max w 333 pixels bottom zero rounded md relative hidden sm block and then in between this we are going to have our another image now let's save and go here you can see that our two images here now if i refresh it you can see the animation After that, below this div, we are going to have one more motion dot div with initial value of with same value from above. So copy this from here and paste here. Then we will give a delay of 0 0.1 seconds here. Make this one as well. And remove this from here. And inside this tube, we are going to have one more div with the class name of P by 4 and text left. And then inside, we will have one more div with the class name of Z index 1 inline block. Rounded full px2 border 2 border color will be border color will be this then relative font medium then we will have a bg gradient from left to right and then bg clip text text transparent and inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of font semi bold text 12 pixels and inside this div we are going to have a span here with a class name of 
font semi bold and text 12 pixels and in this we are going to write did you know question mark and and outside this div we will write h3 and class name text copy this class from here paste here then margin bottom of 2 margin top of 3 lg text 6 excel md text 5 excel text 3 excel font medium and inside s2 we are going to write 22 percent increase and below that we'll have a p tag with a class name of md3 md text excel text base font medium text white and inside p tag we will have now let's save it and go here and if i refresh it you can see the animation and all our component and also we have to add a class name here with mb10 md mb32 and pb4 now save it and go here and refresh it and with that our this part is also ready now we are going to make this card with this over animations and also inside that we are also going to make a text editor here so let's start making that as well for that go to the productivity folder and make one more file name over card .tsx. TSRAFC. To build this card, we have to import use state and use effect hook, and also we have to import use spring animated from React Spring slash web. Now inside the props we are going to define some props here which will be children and that will be the type of react react node and then we are going to have a background color and it will be a type of string and then we are going to have direction which will be a type of string And then we are going to have a uh, left, which will be a type of string as well. Now, first we are making it a parent component so that it can be wrapped around other components. And then we are passing a background color. So, what this background color is, you can go here and here, and here you can see that there is blue color, and here is red, and here is green. So, this is uh, why we are using background color because every time we use hover code uh, we, we can pass this background color to change the color here this is the flex direction and this is the left position after that we are going to define a function here which will be const calc and it will take two arguments x and y both will be type of number and it will give three values all of them will be a type of number and then inside this first will be minus y minus window dot inner height by 2 whole divided by 360 then x minus window dot inner width divided by 2 
divided by 250 and then we are going to have 1.02 so these are the three value that we will get and below that we are going to define trans and and this function will give us the translate value of x and y so and based on that this animation will take place so in this function we are providing x y and s although we are not using s but we are providing it and then we will get the output which will be a type of string and here and this will be a style which we will get from this function and then we will pass it to our jsx and after that inside the function we are going to define some states here so first will be hovered set hovered use state boolean initial value will be false then one more state which is cursor coordinates set cursor coordinates and then use use state initial value will be x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0 now below that we are going to now below that we are going to use our huge spring hook so for that at spring props set then use spring and here we will have x y s and their value will be 0 comma 0 comma 1 and then we will define our config inside that mass will be 5 tension will be 6000 and then friction will be 1000 and after that we are going to use use effect so inside that we will define a function handle mouse position and inside that and inside we will have a event which will be a type of mouse event then first we will get our x and y coordinate of our mouse so client x and client client y y and we will set it to the event then we will set this value to set cursor coordinates x and y after that we are going to add the listener so window dot add event listener it will be a type of mouse move and it will call the above function and then in return we will remove the event listener window dot remove event listener it will be a type of mouse move and then we will call the same function again so all this function will be used just to show this type of animation but the background color and this class morphism type of effect will not co will not come from this function so we have to make some more functions here so first will be const calc translate and it will take coordinate to be a type of number then container size which will be type of number 
and item size it will be a type of number now coordinate is the coordinate of culture container size is the size of this container and item size is the div which have a position absolute so you cannot see it but uh, but the size of that div will be shown here and then using this function we are going to return this value coordinate divided by container size and multiply by container size minus item size now using this value we are going to calculate translate x and based on that we are going to move our div which has position absolute so it will be a type of window if it is not undefined then we are going to call our function calc translate and inside that we are going to pass cursor coordinates dot x then window dot inner height inner width and then 600 so 600 is fixed here and similarly translate y should be a type of window if it's not undefined then we are going to call our function and then we will pass some values here dot dot inner height and this will be 500 otherwise zero other than this we also have to write function for our mouse move and mouse leave from the container so write const handle mouse move and it will have event which will be a type of mouse event inside the function first we will get our x and y client x dot x client x colon x client y colon y then we will make it equal to event and then we are going to set x comma y then we are going to set x y s calc x comma y and then we are going to set forward is true true similarly for mouse leave we can write handle mouse leave inside the function we are going to set value to default which will be x y s 0 comma 0 comma 1 and make the hover value to false and with that we have written all the function required for our hover card and now we will write our jsx so inside jsx first remove this and write div and before div we are going to write animated dot div and inside that we are going to have our own mouse move and here we are going to pass our function handle mouse move and on mouse leave going to pass handle mouse leave actually this should be type of react dot mouse event spml div element so inside the div we are going to have a style and then here we are going to have a transform and here we are going to pass our spring prop dot xys to and then pass our trans function value which is a string and then write our classes here 
class name and then this overflow hidden mb3 md mb8 rounded excel so inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name z index 1 relative background will be hashtag 161b22 h full border p zero three six three and border will be zero point five pixel width rounded axel shadow axel md flex then we are going to have our direction value here direction and i think we did not pass our props here so inside the function remove this and pass children background color and direction then left and then it will all come from props and now now we can pass direction and then justify between and then here we are going to have our children's so that children and below that we are going to have one more div and here we are going to have a class name absolute width will be 350 pixels border will be none then bottom will be 50 pixels H will be 1000 pixels Z will be minus 1 back and if forward is true then we are going to have opacity of 95 otherwise it will have opacity of 0 next line we are going to have our styles so first transform we will have our translate x and it will take value of translate x and then pixel then translate y and it will take value of translate by then pixels then we will have a background then we are going to have our background which will be background color then we are going to have our border radius which will be 100 percent and then we are going to have mix blend mode soft light and then we are going to have left is equals to left and done we are going to have will change to transform and then transition will be transform 0 0.2 seconds cubic bezier so this property is very important because this will help us to blend two colors 
so that we can have this kind of effect. So if we are getting this kind of error, the problem is that we did not uh, put the undefined into the inverted commas. So you have to do that. And also there was typo here. Previously it was translate x, but it should be translate y. So with that, go to the productivity.tsx and below this, make a div, the class name of relative and set index of 1. Now go this folder and make one more file copilot feature.tsx and write tsrafce. So in this component we are going to make this. So let's get started. So first thing we are going to do is import loose state then import forward card and then import motion from frame and motion now inside the function we are going to define some states here first will be hovered set hovered close state and it will be a type of boolean In initial value will be false then we will have a const show py set show py yoji state boolean and initial value will be true then const so js set show js yoji state type boolean initial value will be false then const show go set show go huge state niche type boolean initial value will be false then const count set count huge state type number initial value will be zero and now we are going to define some variants here for that go to the code editor and copy this and paste here and here we are going to change this to 0 0.5 to 0 0.05 and then remove this and this and save After that, we are going to write our JSX here. So first, we are going to use our hover card. Now it will take some values. So first value will be background color, and inside that we are going to pass seven. Then I'm going to pass the direction, and then left. So left will be zero. Direction will be empty, and then inside. Over the card, we are going to have a div with a class name of md flex flex call md space y20 flex1 p8 smp 10 lg py16 LG PR 32 and justify between and inside the div we are going to have a p tag with the class name of text excel then md text to excel then mb6 
font medium text with color and then inside p tag i am going to use a span with a class name of text white font medium and then write github copilot and then outside this span we are going to write this then below p tag we are going to have a div the class name and between those divs we are going to have an anchor tag on mouse enter we are going to set this hovered value to true and on mouse leave we are going to set the hovered value to false after that we are going to have a class name inside that empty text excel then font semi bold and line block we can write mate github copilot and then we are going to use svg here and we are going to use one more div with a class name of if forward is true then w will be run by 12 scale will be scale will be 100 otherwise it will have w0 and scale 0 then we can write origin left is in transition transition then duration will be 300 milliseconds mb3 pixels height will be 2.5 pixel and bg will be white and rounded full Now let's save it and go and check if it's working or not. Refresh it. We have to add our copilot here. So copilot features and now save it. Refresh. And you can see that it's working, but we cannot see the color. So let's check. So here I have written two times x. Now save it and go here. You can see that now it's good and as for anchor tag we will give this text white and the reason that this was not working because it should be mouse leaf instead of mouse move now let's save and go here and now if i hover you can see the animation so with that our left part is ready now we have to work on the right part so get here and below this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of overflow hidden then rounded slg then z index will be one and flex will be one shadow will be three excel and then inside the div we are going to have one more div class name of text left and border of 0 0.5 pixel and bg will be of this color then border color will be hashtag 3036 3d and then rounded lg and text color will be then we are going to have md md 10 then md ml0 
SM ML ten SM MR ten MB sixteen ML three and MR three. Now inside this div, we are going to have one more div, and inside that, we are going to have one more div with the class name of Overflow X Auto. Then PT2 PX2 MB0 border bottom of 0 0.5 pixels. Then border color will be copy this from here. We can have one more day with the class name of flex item center bg this text will be then tab name inside this tab we are going to have a button the type of button on click we are going to change some states here so use curly braces and set show py will be true then set show go will be false and set show gs will be false and then we can have our classes here so that class name flex item center py2 px4 and if show py is true then we are going to use border of 0 0.5 pixels rounded tmd then border bottom of zero then text white then border color which we can copy from here paste here then we are going to have bg color otherwise we will have the default values now inside this button we are going to have svg with a span and in that we are going to have draw scatter plot dot view similarly we can duplicate this two more times and change the value now this will be true and this will be false and then if show js is true then we are going to this and then we are and then we are going to change this svg and span similarly if this clicked then we are going to make this false and go will be true and here as well and here as well you will change the SVG and span so now if I save and go here you can see that now we have our right section appearing and if I click on this you can see that our menu is changing now after below this too we are going to have one more day with the class name of P4 relative BG and we can copy that from and then if show PY value is true then we are going to 
true then we are going to do nothing otherwise we are going to have a class name hidden and inside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name flex and inside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of text text right and inside this we are going to use array to print some numbers so write array from length of 8 10 underscore index then error function and use small brackets add div inside div with a class name of pr2 and then key will be index plus one and inside this we are going to pass our index value plus one and now if i save and go here you can check you can see our number here now below this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex1 overflow x auto text white rounded b md and we will provide a key value here which will be count so we are using the value of state here and then inside this div so inside this div we are going to have our code here you can copy that from my github so i'm just going to paste here and here we have code with some classes just to give them colors so here there's two type of animation first is a parent and children animation and second is just a simple animation here i'm giving a variant of container to this which is a parent to all of between them and this is just a simple animation here so i'm just giving an initial value of opacity 0 y 40 and while in view opacity 1 y 0 and animation 0 delay of 1 and uh, type will be just and uh, let me show you how these animations is going to look so you can see that the first animation is this one parent and then motion dot, dot span variant item this and this and second animation is this part and here we don't need this class so remove this one and save it and go here refresh it now, now it's looking good similarly let's write for these two now after this tip, we have to make a replay button here like this so below this tip, we go we are going to have one more div with the class name of absolute w full z will be one bottom will be minus 16 pixels minus 60 pixels then left zero and flex item center justify center margin bottom of five now inside this div we are going to have a button type button and then we are going to have a on click which will just increase the value of count set count count plus one and then we have and then we are going to have our classes first will be flex item center text white justify between and then between these buttons we 
we are going to have our SVG and the text replay. Now let's save it and go here. As you can see that now we have a replay button. Now if I click on this, you can see the replay. Here we also have to add a class name and inside that these two classes. And now if I save, you can see that there is a blue border. So for that we have to use that everywhere because in the real GitHub web page we see that. And as you can see now we have a line. And similarly we can do for time.js and dot go. So I'm just going to copy that from my GitHub. So here is the code for .js and .go. Now save it and go here. And now if I click on emoji.go, you can see that our animation and the code. Similarly, we have to add this class names to other as well. So copy this and add them here. And now save it and go back again and now you can see that we have a line here so with that our copilot feature component is ready and now we have to work on these cards which we will work in the productivity.tsx so below this div make one more div with the class name of flex justify between and item center inside that div we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex justify between md space x10 max md flex call and inside that we are going to use our hover card so write hover card and here we are going to provide our background color which will be 7 e 7 and 7 then direction which will be flex call and then left which will be 0 and inside this card we are going to have a div with the class name md flex flex call flex1 p8 sm p10 lg py16 lg pr32 and then inside this div we are going to have a p tag with a class name of text excel md text to excel mb6 font medium and text and then inside the p tag we are going to have a span the class name of text white font semi bold and write github actions and below span we can write this now, after that below p tag we are going to have a div and our anchor tag and inside that we are going to have on mouse enter set hover value to true and if true on mouse leave mouse leave then we are going to set forward value false and then we are going to give a class name md text excel text white font semi bold inline block and inside the a tag we are going to write discover github 
actions and then we are going to have SVG with these classes and below that that div with the class name of if forward is true then we are going to have width 11 by 12 scale 100 otherwise we are going to have width 0 scale 0 and origin left transition is in duration will be 300 milliseconds height will be 2.5 pixels and bg white rounded full and now outside this div we are going to have a div with the class name of overflow hidden and rounded s lg and inside that we are going to have image so this will be image so now let's save and go here and refresh page you can see that our card is here but it, but right now it is taking the whole space so we have to make one more card here for that i'm just going to copy and paste here again and I'm just going to change some things here. So after changing text and the image, now if I save and go here, you can see that now we have two cards. And if I hover, you can see the animations. Here we have to here we have to pass minus 400 pixels. Now let's save and go here. And now it is covering the whole container. If I hover on this similarly here and here as well and when we change this you can see that we each time get different code and animation and we can also replay the animation so with that our productivity section is almost ready the last thing that is left to do is to add this line so for that go here and just above Last div we will have one more div class name md ml10 ml3 h160 pixels md will be minus 20 pixel then width will be 3 pixel max md width will be 2 pixels and rounded md and we are going to give a bg gradient gradient to b to b and then right from transparent from transparent via and we will make this a motion dot div and we will pass initial value to be width 0 height 0 and while in view we are going to have height 100% transition delay of 0 0.3 seconds and viewport once is false now save it and go here refresh mm. it's not showing oh this should be 160 pixels and as you can see that now we are having the animation let me refresh it one more time and you can see the animation and with that our productivity section is ready before working on the next section 
first let's make this sticky navbar so when i scroll down below productivity this navbar shows up and then if i click on any of these it helps you to navigate between sections so if i click on the security i'm getting directed to the security section and also it's responsive as well if i click on this chevron i'm getting all the menu and then click on this and i am getting directed to the productivity so we are going to make this now for that go to the navbar and make one more component mstk nav .tsx rtsrafce first make it a client component then import use script and use state now inside the function we are going to define some states so first will be is sticky set is sticky use state false the next state is is fixed set is fixed use state and initial value will be false similarly const product set product and use state false then const collab set collab use state false then const security set security use state false and duplicate these three then add one one After that, we are going to make small nav set a small nav use state false then const forward set forward use state false then duplicate it and add one so with that we have written all the states now use use effect inside this we are going to have some elements so first element name element will be document dot get element by id and in this we will have our navbar which is sticky nav then we are going to have our top coordinate of this element top coordinate is equals to element if it's present then get bounding client react dot top then we are going to have product is equals to document dot get element by id and inside that give productivity in next line we are also going to have its top coordinate so that top product is equals to Product dot get bounding rect dot top similarly for collab equals to document dot get element by 
dot get element by id collaboration and const top collab is equals to collab dot get bound dot top and const security is equals to document document dot get element by id security then const top security is equals to security dot get found rect dot top and now after that we are going to define some if else conditions so first if top coordinate is present and top coordinate value is less than zero then we are going to have set sticky value to true and if top coordinate and top coordinate value is below minus 20 then we are going to have set fixed value to true now copy these and duplicate and if it's about zero then we are going to make this false and if it's about 20 then we are going to make this false so after this we are going to have if if top product is present and top product value is less than 10 then we are going to have set product to true and set collab to false and set security to false similarly similarly if top collab is present and top collab value is less than 10 then we are going to have these three conditions but this will be false and this will be true and if top security is present and if top security value is less than 10 then we are going to have these three conditions and make this false and this one true i suggest you to console all these coordinates if you don't know how it is working and now this all value will inside be a function so above all of them let's define a function called const handle scroll and then inside that and inside that we are going to put all these values so remove this and put it here and after that we are going to add our event listener and call this function so that window dot add the event listener it will be a type of scroll and then we are going to pass this function after that we are going to return in which we are going to remove this event listener window dot remove event listener scroll and same function and then after doing all this we are going to write our jsx so first we will have a div with a id name name and then class name inside class name we are going to give its absolute 
value height of 100 pixels z index of 3 in transition is in lead duration of 150 milliseconds and if is strictly true so set so is strictly is true then we are going to make it visible otherwise it will be invisible add this component to the page.tsx below this hero so that is clicky name and now inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of with the class name of w screen if is fixed if the ternary operator is fixed is true then we are going to add fixed condition otherwise it will have a sticky position after that we are going to give a vertical padding of 2 bg 0 1 then shadow slate 950 shadow md top 0 now inside this div and inside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name max w 1 to 8 0 pixels Outside this MX Auto PB2 LG PB3 PT1 Flex LG PX3 PX12 Item Center Max LG Flex Call relative relative and inside this we will have a button and inside this button we are going to provide on click function which will reverse the value of set small name so a small and then we will add a class name over here lg hidden absolute right 12 stop 4 inside this button we are going to have two svgs the first one is check and second is cross so if it's true then we are going to hide it because we have opened the small name and if it's false then we are going to hide this one and then after and then outside this button we are going to have a div with the class name of flex lg flex row flex call text 16 pixels Justify start max LG W full flex auto LG space X4 text white. Now inside this and inside this we are going to have anchor text. First we will direct to productivity section. TVT section and then on click function it will call set small value of name to false and on mouse enter we are going to set the set product product one value to true and on mouse leave 
we are going to make that false then we are going to have a class name here inside that we are going to write max lg pt2 if product one is true then we are going to have lg text blue 500 otherwise it will have empty value and then we are going to have one more condition here if product is true or small name is true then we are going to have lg text blue 500 max lg pb6 otherwise we are going to have max lg hidden And inside the anchor tag we are going to write we are going to write productivity productivity and this should be kept up now below this we are going to have a div for underline so add a class name here w 11 by 12 w 10 by 12 max lg write the class name here w10 by 12 max lg hidden mx auto mp1 h of 1 pixels bg white scale 0 Transition is in duration will be 200 milliseconds. Now, if product one is true, then we are going to make it as scale 100 and BG blue 500. Otherwise, it will have the default value and now let's save and check if it's working or not and now you can see that if we scroll down below product pretty we get this sticky navel and we also get this product quickly let me give a padding top of two yeah now it's looking good similarly we can write for other two plus so duplicate it two more times and change this to collaboration and this one's to and this one's to security and this one to be security now here we have to change these as well so this should be Collab one, collab one, collab one, collab one, and this should be collab. And now here, this should be security one, security one. Security one, security one, and security. So with that, our all three menu are ready. Let's save it and go here. And as you can see that now we have all three menus. Now if I click on the collaboration, we get directed here because we have added a collaboration ID here. And for the security, we did not get anywhere because we haven't added. So with that, our left part is ready. Now we have to work on the right part. So for that, go back to the sticky nav. And below this div, we are going to make one more div with a class name of LG ML5 
flex item center lg space x5 next lg space y3 max lg flex call max lg w full max lg mt5 if the small name value is true then we are going to do nothing otherwise we are going to have max lg hidden then inside this i are going to have a anchor tag and on mouse enter we are going to make set forward value to true and on mouse leave leave we are going to make that to false and then we are going to give a class name here which is flex item center max lg tap the full text white and font semi bold justify center space x2 text base border of one pixel border neutral 500 px3 py3 rounded empty and inside this we are going to write and then we are going to have a svg here with these classes similarly we can work on others so write anchor tag then copy this from above and paste it here and change this to one and one this should be on after that add the class name here flex item center max lg w full pg white font semi bold px3 py3 justify center rounded md text base inside this we are going to write sign up for github and below that we are going to use this svg and change this value to hover one and now let's save and go here if i hover you can see the animation and with that our speaking neighbor is ready let me read. let me also check if it's responsive or not so below lg it's get like this and we have all our menu here with buttons so now we have completed our sticky navbar now we are going to work on this collaboration section so go here and inside the component make one more folder named collaboration and then make a file named collaboration.tsx and import that to here collaboration now save it and go back here and now we are going to work on this so now we have completed our skicking navbar now we are going to work on this collaboration section so go here and inside the component make one more folder named collaboration 
and then make a file in collaboration tsx and import that to here collaboration now save it and go back here and now we are going to work on this first let's make it a client component then we are going to import load state and then we are going to import code space and import hover card and import motion from framer motion and now inside the function we are going to define some states which will be hovered set hovered Good state false then duplicate it and change this to one one then one more time two and two then we are going to define our variants which you can copy from here so copy these two and paste here And make this to point one and remove this add y zero and here y forty and then we are going to write out JSX so remove this and we are going to give a class name max w one two eight zero pixels mx auto then inside the div we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex md pl7 space x3 md space x10 then inside this we are going to have one more div the class name flex flex call item center and inside this we are going to have motion dot div and here we are going to provide initial value to opacity zero and while in view we are going to have opacity one in transition we are going to have delay of of 0.5 seconds then we are going to have a class name of ability and inside this div we are going to have our svg and below this we are going to have a span with a class name of absolute left zero top zero h full W full home campaign glowing icon glow 2 and then Z3. Now let's save and go here. And let me give some margin bottom here. Margin bottom of 32. And now let's go and you can see that now we have our icon and uh, and the glowing effect. After that, let's go back to the collaboration. Now, outside this div, we are going to have one more motion dot div, and inside that, we are going to have initial value to be height zero, and then while in view, we are going to have height hundred percent. Then I'm going to give a transition of delay. 0 0.8 seconds then a class name h full w of 3 pixels max md w of 2 pixels mt7 rounded md then a background gradient to bottom from this color via this to transparent 
and now if i save it you cannot see anything now because uh, right now we haven't added anything here so let's add that for that below this div we are going to have one more motion dot div and inside that we are going to have initial value initial value opacity 0 and x value to be minus 30 then while in view we are going to make opacity 1 and x value 0 then transition delay will be 0 0.6 seconds and type will be twin then outside this we are going to have our classes md w 10 by 12 mb 24 inside that we are going to have a s2 tag with the class name text 20 pixels md text 2 excel mb 7 font medium text white and then inside this we are going to add collaboration then below that we are going to have s3 tag with the class name of text 28 pixels md text 40 pixel and max md leading Eight max LG leading ten LG text five XL MB seven font medium text white and now inside this tag we are going to have a span with the class name of text then with the class name inside that we are going to give a text color and we are going to write supercharge collaboration and below is fine we are going to write some text now let's save and go here and now you can see the text and then below this div we are going to have image and inside the image we are going to give a class name of w full h auto d block rounded lg border of 1 pixels then border color width will be 2500 pixels height will be 1500 pixels and then we are going to provide our source url now save and go here and you can see that our image here and with that below this tip we are going to have a component which is discount and let's make this here discount dot tsx TSR AFCE and let's import it here. Now save it and inside the discount we are going to make this this area. So let's go here and here first we are going to import our real state. Then we are going to import our motion. Then inside the function, we are going to define some states. So it will be hovered, set hovered is equals to use state, initial value will be false. Now inside this, first we will give a class name. It will be flex relative 
and md pl10 inside this we are going to have a image so image then we are going to give src then class name absolute top 0 right 0 h auto pointer event null and then we are going to provide the width so width will be 27 one two pixels and then height will be two seven one two pixels now below that we are going to have a div with class name of flex item center flex row relative inside this div we are going to have motion dot div and the initial value will be at zero and while in view we are going to have height of 100 percent then we are going to have a class name inside that w will be three pixels max md w will be two pixel and h will be full and increase one now below that we are going to have an image so this is the image that we are going to use and then after that and then after this div we are going to have one more div with the class name lgpl24 mdpl16 pl6 and then inside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex md flex call reverse my8 item center lg cap x5 sm my12 MD MY sixteen MD MY sixteen PB six MD PB twenty MD flex zero and this should be max MD inside div we are going to have div with a class name of py4 mb2 and w full then inside that we are going to have motion dot div we are going to provide initial value opacity 0 and x value is 30 then while in view we are going to have opacity of 1 and x is equals to 0 then transition it will have a type of twin and duration of 0 0.3 seconds now after that we are going to have class name and inside that mdpr6 inside the div we are going to have s2 tag with a class name of mb4 text to excel max lg text 20 pixels max md w10 by 12 lg w full and text color then inside s2 tag we are going to have a span the class name font semi bold and text white and inside that write github issue and github projects and below that we are going to write some more text and below the s2 tag we are going to have an anchor tag on mouse center we are going to set the hover value 
scroll through and on mouse leave you are going to set its value to false then we are going to have a class name py1 inline block text excel text white font semi bold and inside the anchor tag we are going to write explore github issues and then we are going to provide the svg now in the next line we are going to have a div with the class name of and ternary operator if hovered is true then we are going to have w 11 by 12 scale 100 scale 100 otherwise w0 and scale 0 and we are going to have origin left transition is in duration of 300 milliseconds h of 2.5 pixels bg white and rounded full now let's save and go here and as you can see now we have our text and the button and now we have to add the image over here for that go outside this div and make a motion dot div and here we are going to have initial value opacity 0 and y 30 then we are going to have y in u opacity of 1 y 0 then transition and it will be type of tween duration of 0 0.3 seconds and then we are going to have our class names py4 px6 w full and inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of relative and one more div with a class name of relative with a class name of relative and now inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of md absolute z index of 1 top to minus 200 pixels lg top minus 300 pixels right 0 shadow to excel inside this tip we are going to have our image with these class names and now let's save and go here and now you can see our image and lastly we have to make this part so go again here outside this tip we are going to have motion.dev and here we are going to provide the same value from here and change this to x minus 30 then x0 then here we are going to provide a class name with mb10 md mb32 pb4 and now inside this we are going to have a div with a class name of py4 text left we are going to have one more div with a class name of z1 line block rounded full px2 border to border color then relative 
font medium bg gradient to r then from ff c to b2 to ff from from ff a to 8b to ff c to b2 bg clip text and text transparent inside this tube we are going to have a span with a class name of font semi bold text 12 pixels then then outside this tube we are going to have a h3 tag with a class name of text 8p mb2 mp3 lg text 6 xl md text 5 xl then text 3 xl font medium and write 80 percent reduction now in next line we are going to have a p tag with a class name of mb3 md text excel text base font medium text white and then we are going to write in on body one now let's save it and go back here now you can see that this part is here let me refresh this now you can see the animation So with that our this part is also ready and now let's go back to the collaboration and start making other parts now below the discount we are going to have a div with a class name of w full h auto rounded lg border of one pixel then border color 3063d then flex justify between and item center now inside this div we are going to have a div with a class name of flex justify between md space x10 max md flex call and then inside that we are going to have our hover card which is gonna take background color ff 8 to 8p then direction will be flex call then left value will be 0 we are going to have a div with a class name md flex flex call flex 1 p8 smp10 lgpy 16 lgpl16 lgpr32 and inside this div we are going to have a p tag with a class name of text excel md text to excel then mb6 
font medium text color will be then inside that we are going to have a span with the class name text white font semi bold and inside that right github actions then outside this span we are going to have our text and now below this p tag we are going to have a div inside that we are going to have anchor tag and on mouse center we are going to change the set hover value to true and on mouse leave we are going to change its value to false after that we are going to have a class name here with py1 inline block text excel text white font semi bold and inside this anchor tag we are going to write enable github discussion and below that we are going to have rsvg and then we are going to have a div with a class name with a class name of ternary operator if hover is true then we are going to make its width of 11 by 12 scale 100 otherwise it will have a width of 0 scale 0 origin left transition is in duration of 300 milliseconds height will be 2.5 pixels bg white and rounded full now let's save and go here and now refresh and you can see now we have our card here and now let's make the right section of this card outside this div we are going to have our motion dot div and here we are going to have initial value to be y20 and opacity will be zero then while in view we are going to have opacity of one and then y value will be zero in transition we are going to give it's the type of twin and then we are going to give a duration of 0 0.3 seconds after that class name will be overflow hidden overflow hidden rounded s l g inside this we are going to have our image so this will be image so this will be the image and now let's save and go here and you can see that now we have our image here so our one card is ready now we have to make this card also for that copy and duplicate it and save and now you can see that now we have two identical cards we have to change the text and this image and also the left value so here left value will be minus 400 pixels then change the anchor tag text and this text also image also and now let's save and go here now you can see that now we have two types of card and also we have to change this as well and this one as well and this one as well so now let's save and go here and now you can see that refresh it you can see the animation and now after this we have to make 
this card so let's go and make that so outside this div we are going to have hover card and inside that we are going to provide these values the flex direction will be zero and this will be zero now inside the hover card we are going to have a div the class name of md flex flex call md space y20 flex1 py20 p10 justify between and inside this we are going to have a p tag and let's copy this from here copy and paste and then change the value of text and after that we are going to have div and anchor tag so you can copy those from here and and here you have to change this from 1 to 2 to 2 2 and after that you also have to change this text and let's go here and you can see now we have one more card here and now we have to make uh, I think there is problem let's go here and this should be 2 and this should be 1 so with that our left part is ready we have to make this right part now so for that let's go here and after this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of overflow hidden rounded s lg z index of 1 flex 1 and then inside this div we are going to have motion dot div and inside this motion of div we are going to have variants so variant will be container and we are going to define initial value will be hidden and while in view will be show then we are going to have our classes so class name flex flex wrap w full relative minus top 120 pixels minus rotate 12 pixel rotate 12 minus rotate 12 degree minus right 6 minus empty 6 p6 max height will be 480 pixels and inside this div we are going to have motion dot div and here variant will be item and transition where type will be tween and then a class name of w1 by 3 and inside this div we are going to have an anchor tag with target blank class name rounded md bg will be border will be 0 0.5 pixels border color will be flex flex call item center m2 p6 and inside this anchor tag we are going to have an image then a div with a class name of text m by 2 and we are going to write home div in next line we are going to have a button type button and then a class name bg rounded md 
inside this button we are going to have a span with the class name of flex item center justify between px2 py1 space x2 then inside this span we are going to have a svg and then a span with a class name of button label text and then write a sponsor and now let's save and go here so now you can see that r1 card is here and let me refresh it you can see the animation similarly we can make other cards as well so i'm just going to copy that from my github and paste it here and let's save it and go back to the browser refresh and now you can see that all the cards coming with the animation so with that our this card is also ready and now we have to make this line so for that go back to the collaboration and our search this hover card we are going to have a motion dot div and initial value will be height zero then while in view we are going to have height of 160 pixels then transition and delay of 0 0.2 seconds 0 0.2 seconds and then we are going to give a class md ml 10 ml 3 at 160 pixels empty minus 20 pixel w of 3 pixel max empty w 2 pixel rounded md then bg gradient to bottom from from transparent and now let's save and go back to the browser and you can see our line refresh it you can see it so with that our collaboration section is also ready this is productivity and this is collaboration and now let's work on the security section for that Let's go back here in the component and make one more folder security and then make security dot tsx t s r a f c e then import it to the page dot tsx for that make one more div here and give id of security then class name and inside the class name we are going to give px4 pt8 pb16 and overflow and overflow region inside that we are going to import our component so like security and save it and now you can go and refresh it and you can see that here is security written but it is in black so let's go back to the security.txx and start packing our code let's make this a client component then we are going to import logistate and we are going to import our hover card then we are going to import motion from frame motion and inside the function we are going to define some states for that go here and copy these and paste 
and then we are also going to define the variance for that we have to copy this and paste it and make this to 0 0.4 and remove this and this and then add a scale of 0 0.8 and here scale 1 now inside the div we are going to give first a class name max w and two eight zero pixels and max auto then a div with a class name flex mdpl seven space x three md space x ten and then inside div we are going to have one more div with the class name of flex flex call item center and then we are going to have a motion dot div with initial value of opacity zero and while in view we are going to have opacity to one then transition will have a delay of 0 0.5 seconds and class name of relative inside this tab we are going to have our SVG and then I span with the class name absolute left 0 top 0 h full w full then go to the collaboration and copy this class and then paste here and change this to 3 and then z index will be 3 and now outside this div we are going to have one more motion dot div with initial value to height of 0 while in view height of 100% transition will be delay of 0 0.8 seconds and class name h full W3 pixel max md w 2 pixel nt7 rounded md bg gradient to b to transparent And then outside this tube we are going to have one more motion dot div and inside this we are going to give initial value of opacity 0 x minus 30 while in view opacity 1 and x 0 transition delay will be 0 0.6 second 0 0.6 seconds and type will be tween class name will be empty w 10 by 12 mb 24 now inside this tip we are going to have a s2 tag with the class name of text 20 pixels empty text to excel mb7 font medium text white 
and then we are going to write security in the next line we are going to have a s3 tag with a class name of text 28 pixels mb text 40 pixel max md leading 8 max lg leading 10 lg text 5 excel mb7 font medium text white and then inside s3 we are going to have a p tag with a class name of text line 39 afs now let's save it and go back here and you can see the text there is some gap oh yes we have to remove this margin bottom now let's save it refresh you can see the animation and the text let's go back to the security.tsx and now outside this div we are going to have a hover card here we are going to provide background color which will be this then we are going to provide the direction which will be empty and left will be zero now inside the card we are going to have a div with a class name of flex w w10 by 12 flex call mx auto and inside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of text p6 and then we are going to have a div with a class name font medium then write c make dot yml then in next line we are going to have a span with a class name of text 12 pixel and write on push now after this div we are going to have motion dot div inside that we are going to give variant which will be container initial will be hidden while in view will be show class name will be relative flex text 17 pixels flex call md flex row lg py10 flex1 justify between w10 by 12 mx auto md cap 10 inside this we are going to have one more motion dot div and here we are going to provide variant is equals to item and transition it will be a type of tween then a class name animate w full now inside this div 
we are going to have a simple div with a class name of p6 md mt8 mb10 then we are going to have this class rounded md then we are going to provide a style background will be rgba inside the div we are going to have another list with a class name of minus mb6 now inside this we are going to have li with a class name of mb6 flex item center justify between then we are going to have a div the class name of flex item center then we are going to have a svg and then we are going to have a span with a class name of font medium medium text white then write build and outside this tree we are going to have a span with the class name of text 14 pixel text write 1 minute 21 seconds now let's save it and go here and you can see that one part of our card is ready now we have to make this part for that go back here now below this div we are going to have one more motion dot div and inside that we are going to have variant item then copy this from here paste then class name which will be which will be absolute md top 12 lg left 47% md left 46% max md top 88 pixels side index will be 1 flex item center max md rotate 90 degree now inside this we are going to have div class name inline block Rounded full P1 BG. Then we are going to have a style with box shadow. This in next line, we are going to have one more div with the style this and background this, and then we are going to copy first div and paste it here. And after that, we are going to make one more motion dot div. And here variants will be item and copy this transition then we are going to have a class name animate tableau full then we are going to have a div with a class name of pt2 pb1 px6 text 15 pixels rounded tmd and line block font medium text white 
then we are going to have a style and in that we are going to use this background copy and paste here and then inside this div we are going to write the steps now after this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of p6 mb10 and with a class so go here and and copy this and then paste here after that we are going to use rounded tl none rounded md then style then this style now inside this div we are going to use ul with the class name of minus mb6 then li with the class name of mb6 flex item center justify between then div with the class name of flex item center and then inside the div we are going to have svg after that we are going to have a span class name font medium text white and then write build after this we are going to have one more span we can copy that from here and paste here now copy this and paste it two more times and now save it and let's go here refresh the page and i think there is some position problem but other than that our card is ready so let's fix that now to solve the problem we have to add one more thing which is lg top 24 and with that this will come to the center so with that done now let's on the project section for that make a file here named project .tsx tsrasce and let's import it here outside this hover card we are going to import our project Now save it and go here. So here we have to import our use state. Then we are going to import motion from frame motion. Then inside the function we are going to write a state which is hovered set hovered use state initial value will be false now this project section is same as this one so i'm not going to waste time to make the same thing for that i'm just going to copy code from my data but if you want to make try to make yourself so after copying and pasting code from github you can save it and go back here and now if I scroll down, you can see the animation and the project section. And now after that, let's make these cards. For that, go back to the security.tsx. And after this, we are going to make a div here with a class name of relative and z index of 1. Now inside this, we are going to have our hover card. then we are going to provide some values here for that go above and then copy this line and paste it here and now inside the card we are going to make a div with the class name of overflow auto then we are going to have empty flex 
flux call md space y20 flux1 py20 md p10 p5 my6 then justify between then we are going to have MD min width will be 400 pixels now inside this div we are going to have our p tag with a class name of text Excel MD text to Excel MB6 font medium text color inside p tag we are going to have a span with a class name of text white font medium and write git of sponsors in the span write secret scanning then we are going to have then write these lines after that outside the p tag we are going to have a div inside that we are going to have anchor tag with on mouse center function which will set the hover value to true and on mouse leave we are going to set its value false then we are going to have our classes here py1 inline block text excel text white font semi bold and inside this tag we are going to write read about secret scanning then we can go to collaboration and copy these two lines and then paste here now save it and go here and look here you can see our card and this button then outside this tip we are going to have our motion dot where initial where initial value will be scale 0 0.9 opacity 0 then while in view we are going to have opacity to 1 and scale 1 and transition type will be queen then we are going to have our classes here rounded r md then overflow hidden flex item center after this we are going to have our image here with responsive class and now let's save and go here now you can see our card is ready next we have to make two more cards here for that outside this div we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex 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 call md flex row gap 10 then i'm going to the collaboration and here i'm going to copy these two cards copy these and paste here now save it and you can see our two cards here now we have to make some changes here like color so for the color copy this 
and here as well other than that we also have to change the text layer So now I have changed the text and the image and here as well now save it and go here and here you can see that now we have two different cards with different text and images and you can see that this works fine and with that our security section is ready. So now let's review our whole website one more time. So this is our hero section, then our productivity, then our code editor, then our two cards here, and our sticky navbar is also working. So with that our three sections is ready. So so now we have to work on this part, globe and the footer. So for that, let's go here again. So with that our three sections is ready. So now we have to work on this part, globe and the footer. So for that, Let's go here again. So now let's make a folder here name footer. And inside that let's make a let's make a file name globe.tsx tsra fce. Now inside that first we have to make it a client component. Then we have to import huge state and inside the function we have to make two states forward set forward use state initial value will be false then we are going to duplicate it and add one at the last Now remove this and we will have a class name here with overflow hidden and delete. And inside this we will have one more div with a class name of max w128 pixels mx auto delete and z index will be 2. Now inside now inside this we will have one more div with a class name of flex my8 md my16 sm my12 relative md item center text center flex call now inside this we are going to have one more div with a class name of py3 mb2 flex flex call justify center item center inside this we are going to have a s2 tag with the class name of px4 mb4 mdw 9 by 12 mx auto lg text 5xl md text 4xl text 3xl 
font font bold text white and inside s2 we are going to add this text now outside, now outside this we are going to have a p tag with a class name of mb4 md text excel text 16 pixels text px4 mx auto md w 7 by 12 and inside free tag we are going to write this text after this we are going to have a div with a class name of lg ml5 flex item center justify center lg space lg space x5 max lg space y3 max lg flex call max lg w full max lg mk5 now inside this div we are going to have anchor tag with on mouse enter and it will set the property of hover to true on mouse leave it will set the value to false then we are going to have a class name flex item item center bg white font bold px14 py13 py3 justify center rounded md text 20 pixels then we are going to write our text and the svg similarly we are going to have one more anchor tag so duplicate it change this to one and one and this one as well and this one as well now here we have to change some classes so remove this write text white font bold justify center space x2 text 20 pixels border of 1 pixel border neutral of 500 px4 py3 rounded empty and change the text and now save it and let's import it to the page.tsx outside this div import globe and save it and now you can see our text here after that we are going to add our globe so for that let's make one more file here earth one dot tsx and to make this globe we are going to use kobe globe so you can find on the google kobe npm globe
so you have to just install it and this is a starter file so you have to just copy and paste in a file so since we have already installed we just have to import it here this is the whole code that we are going to use so after importing the create globe from kobe and here we have been given some configs so that we can change color orientation and width so this is the config that i have choose you can choose anything you want and then we have provided the max width 100 percent and width 600 and height 600 percent and with these classes now save it and then we are going to make one more earth here and copy and paste here and here we have to change the offset which will be minus which will be minus 300 pixels and now you might be thinking why i'm using two earth and the reason is that we cannot use use state here and because of that we have to make two component of the same globe to make our page responsive as you can see here if i inspect and start shrinking after sm the offset of the globe changes so now let's import both earth here so now let's import both of them in the globe after this tip we are going to make one more div with the class name of relative and z index of 2 max sm hidden and here we are going to use earth from earth 1 and then we are going to use one more div here with the class name relative z index 2 and sm and change the name to earth 2 and earth 2 and here we are going to use earth 2 now save it and after that we are going to use the background image and now save it and go to the browser and now you can see our globe here now we have to add this image for that make a div here the class name flex item center justify center relative z index of 2 empty minus 200 pixels inside that we are going to use our image now save this as well and go here and now you can see that our image is just below the globe and with that our globe section is ready now we have to work on this footer for that go back to the page.tsx and here just below the globe make a div with the class name of max w1280 pixels mx auto relative set index of 2 px5 and inside this we are going to use a ul with the class name of lg w9 by 12 text 14 pixel pt 16 text space y1 and inside this we are going to use li sub 1 so these two li will be used here now save it and go here let me give some margin bottom you can see our text we have to remove this and then lastly just below the last div we have to so add the footer component and now let's go back to the footer and make our footer component here 
footer dot tsx tsrafce and now let's import it to the page import footer now save it so inside footer we don't need to import anything just add a class name here and footer relative pt14 and break words then inside this div we are going to have one more we are going to have one more div with a class name of max w one two eight zero pixels mx auto relative z2 overflow hidden then we are going to have one more div with a class name of flex flex call lg flex so then py10 mb8 space x6 px4 and then inside this we are going to have a div with a class name of mb12 px2 then anchor tag then we are going to have a class name color fg septal then inside the tag we are going to have rsvg now outside this we are going to have a div with a class name of text white then s2 tag with a class name of mt6 font semi bold and write subscribe to our newsletter and in next line we are going to have a p tag with a class name of text 14 pixels text mb6 then inside here we are going to write this after that we are going to have an anchor tag with a class name of mb6 px6 py3 text 17 pixels font semi bold border 0.5 pixels border gray 400 rounded lg and here write subscribe then outside this div we are going to have one more div with the class name of lg flex w full justify between grid and D grid calls four grid calls two cap six then we are going to have one more div with a class name of text Inside that, we are going to have s2 tag, the class name of font medium mb4 font mono, and then below that, we are going to have another list with a class name of text 14 pixels, then li with a class name of mb4, then we will have an anchor tag features 
similarly we can write other allies now let's save it and go back here and you can see our menu similarly we have to write all of them so i'm just going to copy that from my github and paste here now save it and go back here and now you can see that we have all menus and here it should be product save it and with that our upper footer is ready now we have to make this down footer if you can see that for that go back here outside this tube we are going to have one more div with a class name of bg inside that we will have one more div with a class name of max w1280 pixels mx auto text 12 pixel md flex flex Row reverse py6 justify between item item center px4 then we will have our ul with a class name of flex item center max md and before and then we are going to have a ally with a class name of mb4 mr4 and inside the ally we are going to have anchor tag then uh, image and you can copy the image from my github similarly we have to make some more allies now save it and go back here and let me give some margin here margin bottom of 32 and now you can see that we have our image icons here and now we have to make our left section for that outside this ul make one more ul with a class name of flex item center mb4 SM MB zero text flex wrap then ally tag with a class name of MI three then this similarly we can write these and now let's save it and go back here. And now you can see that our bottom footer is also ready. Let me inspect it and check if it's responsive or not. And it is responsive as well. So let me remove this one. So guys with that we have made our github clone using the next years and let me show you the completed website. So this is the new bar. This is search bar. These are buttons. And if I scroll down this is our text then this is sticky new bar then our editor. And this section our hover cards with this code editor then our buttons then we have our collaboration section then this our card and this card and security section after that we have our globe section and this is our globe and lastly we have our footer 
and this is all responsive as well so guys with that we have made our github clone with next.js so if you like the video then do subscribe to our channel and and also do comment what you want in the next video and with that see ya